Hello, welcome back to my channel, Vintage Adventure. I'm Brenda and I have a jewelry haul for you today. Um, this was something that I picked up last Sunday afternoon. It was about three o'clock. We had to drive to Hammond um, to attend to something for my husband's work. And on the way back, there was a garage sale, so we stopped. And it was 50% off and it was, the end of their weekend and I couldn't believe some of this stuff was still there. I imagine that the first day of their sale was fabulous, but we got in and purchased quite a few um, things and I kind of hoarded up on the jewelry. So last week I was talking about how great it is to find jewelry in sets. Well, I've got maybe three or four sets here that I'll show you. Some are marked, some are unmarked, but let's get right into it. Um, first off is this rhinestone set. It's unmarked, um, probably 1950s. And there's the necklace with the screw back earrings. These are seed pearls. They're not real pearls. Um, they're amber colored rhinestones. There is no marking. It is kind of a good quality molded metal setting. Um, but not sure if this is the actual chain for it, but it looks okay with it. So I will sell those together as a set. Not too much, maybe $20, $25. Um, no missing rhinestone, so that's good. This set is, um, I don't think it's marked, but it's really pretty. Just kind of a, Almost an Art Deco style. Oh, there is something on the back here. What's it say? <clears throat> Yi Chang, Y-E-C-H-A-N-G. Um, there is a full parure. It's got the necklace, the bracelet, and the clip-on earrings. So I will do a little bit of research on this brand. I haven't yet and see what it's all about, but it looks to be in good shape. None of the little seed rhinestones are missing. Um, it's kind of hard for you to see it. <clears throat> Let's see, another set. This one is unmarked, but very pretty. I picked it up. Again, I paid $8.50 and I gave the lady $9 total for all this jewelry. And it was like on the third day at the 11th hour. So um, I mentioned my friend Jackie. She sent me a text after she watched my video last week. And she says, how do you find stuff when I've already been there? She laughed. And, you know, it. there's always stuff to find. I just feel like there's no shortage of vintage items to find and flip. Um Another story I have is I was out garage selling with another friend and we were in another town. It was the end of the day. We were tired and we were recall. We used to sell antiques together at my brother's antique store. He had a shop next to my um, mom's antique store where I had a booth. And I, for a time, I also had a booth in his store and she did as well because we were recalling the days we'd go to estate sales at six in the morning. Again, this is pre-internet and somebody would be giving temporary numbers. And, um, you know, it was just a mad dash for people to find stuff in the house and grab people grabbing linens out of your arms. And it was kind of a crazy time back in the 80s. But she and I went to the last sale of the day. And there, I kid you not, we found a, she was looking for a really nice crystal tumble up for her bedside. We found it there, it wasn't marked, but it was a gorgeous piece of glass, and right next to it was a Tiffany decanter, which I bought for $2, and her tumble up was $2. So we both walked away with these great scores at the last garage sale of the day, and when we walked up to the um, the sellers, they said, oh yeah, there's something written on the bottom of that, um, that carafe. And I was like, uh-huh, it's Tiffany, but I didn't say that. Um, but I ended up selling it, I think, for $79 on eBay. 
So that story aside, there's always something to find at thrift stores. Again, yeah, if you're the early bird, you get the worm, but the worms come out later as well. But this is a very nice little piece of, um, I think it's, I'm not sure. It's got hand painting, but it is um, a piece of porcelain with roses, and it's just kind of embellished with a little white highlights. And that has the pendant, the br matching bracelet, and the clip-on earrings. So, um, yeah, that's a cute little set. Kind of a cottage core look. I think that will resonate with someone. I found a, let's see, here's another set. This one I picked up only because this clasp says sterling on it. And um, it's actually plastic beads, not pearls. I just tested them by rubbing them against my teeth. But these little crystals are acrylic and the, the um, pearls are fake but it has a sterling clasp on it, which is strange. This one is the matching necklace to it. Very pretty. I don't know if I trust wearing this, but it does have kind of a button um, clasp. But again, this is a Demi Perreur set. Oops. With kind of the that Art Deco look. Um, this one's not a set, but I thought it probably had earrings to go with it. This is a really beautiful black and smoke-colored rhinestone, um, kind of a bolo-type necklace. Really pretty, none of the rhinestones are missing. Um, but these rhinestones were there. They somewhat match it, but they don't have the smoked, they have the clear, and these, um, rhinestones are just smooth they don't have the faceting like this one but you could almost get away with wearing these together i don't know if i'll sell them as a set or not yet and i will save the best for last this well we've got two sets left um this one is i believe kramer of new york and it has the pin the necklace and the bracelet <clears throat> It's milk glass rhinestone, or milk glass with rhinestones. Um, very nice piece. They're all marked Kramer. Let's see. This one was marked in a weird spot though. Oh, it's right on the clasp. And then um, this one I didn't think was Kramer, but then I found it right there. This choker, very cute. And then this pin, which does have a rhinestone, or has a milk glass, stone missing and I will replace that and disclose it um, is very pretty there is kind of a loose leaf here where the weld maybe let go but it's still in really good condition so I was really thrilled to get that that was almost kind of like a really that's still here um, and then the final set is really the piece de resistance this thing is gorgeous and I found a comp already on Worth Point. I don't have a Worth Point membership, so I could not um, see what it sold for. But this bra there is another bracelet like this on Etsy for 125. This is Romar. Um, let's see if I can find the. Here it is. Not Romar Originals, but Romar quality, and it's an Art Deco filigree bracelet. I'm going to test the metal and see what it is. It looks like a natural, I don't know what this might be, what kind of stone that is. But it's got the safety chain on it and then the matching necklace with it, which none of the comps that I found online had a necklace that matched. So very excited to find this. I believe this is also marked Romar someplace on it. Let's see. I'll have to inspect it again I can't really find it but as you can tell they're very much the same maker but this was really the score of that garage sale 11th hour garage sale so that was it for the sets then the rest of it was just some odds and ends I picked up which I'll show you the best piece from that is this um 
is it Eisenberg or Weiss? It's Weiss. This Weiss Art Deco bracelet is just freaking gorgeous. I don't know if people just don't like the white rhinestones or why this was still sitting there, but I was thrilled to get it. And the lady was thrilled I was buying so much. Um, it's got like a um, safety chain on it as well. Signed, Eisen or signed Weiss, another great brand along with Eisenberg and Kramer and Schreiner and some other ones. But very beautiful Art Deco style rhinestone bracelet. Just some garden variety rhinestones and a crescent with kind of the Aurora Borealis. Um, I was watching some videos um, the other day and they were talking about watermelon rhinestones. So keep on the lookout for that. That's more of a green um, blue type. Oh, my dog's barking because someone drove in the cul-de-sac. But these are just gorgeous Aurora Borealis rhinestones in the crescent shape clip-ons. Another pair of clip-ons. I have a pendant that actually matches this. That's actually listed, I think, on eBay right now. Um, these are just your um, enamel, uh, inlaid enamel earrings. These are signed, I think it's Crown Trifari. It's a crown with a fish in it? I don't know. I'll have to do a little research on that, too. Didn't know that. Picked up this Black Panther pin. This is really cute. It's a flat black cold paint over the gold tone panther with rhinestones. Just love that. I think that's really cute. Rhinestone eye. Um, a Christmas tree pin. These are always great sellers. Although I've got lots of these listed on um, eBay. So I may add this to another lot. Get them up there before the holidays start. Here's a cute little uh, owl pin. Not sure who made this. It is signed. Um, I think it's Jerry. Jerry made a lot of figural pins. I think I have a Jerry um, enamel painted parrot with feathers. So, I, and I have some bowling pins, I think, that are made by Jerry, but this is so cute, this little owl pin. <clears throat> Another necklace that I purchased was this Onyx one. Um, just kind of your vintage 60s, 70s look. Kind of like that for myself. I'm not gonna keep it though. I've gotta start divesting my own collection. But for, I think it was 50 cents, you know, these were, I don't know how many pieces I got for nine bucks. Like for instance, this clamper bracelet was 50 cents, so I got it for a quarter. I haven't taken the sticker off yet, but don't think these are jade, they feel warm to the touch. I don't see a signature off the top of my head on this, but clamper bracelets are great because they fit anybody. You don't have to worry about squeezing them over your fat hand. But um, So that is Sunday's jewelry haul. End of the day, didn't expect, it wasn't going out, just was running an errand in another town and boom, we hit this garage sale. My husband got quite a bit of these Legos race cars from the guy with the books. So Kim and Cole were looking through these today and Cole actually has a bunch of these, which we didn't know. But um, that was that. Then I bought a few things um, for this week's haul that I'm just gonna show you. Today it's raining, so I don't think I'm gonna go out and do any garage sales, even though there is a ton. There is the 100 mile garage sales along US 10. In starting in Ellsworth, Wisconsin and going to Mondovi. I've done that sale in the spring. Again, we went, I think, on the third day last year and I got a really great, um, I think it was an Ellie Smith black glass art deco flower frog. I'll try to insert some of the stuff that I mentioned here, pictures. Um, that's sold already. But again, it was the third day and we still scored some cool stuff. Um, I think we made it to Durand in April, but um, there's also the Cannon Falls citywide garage sales. That's over in Minnesota near Red Wing, so that's fairly close. Don't think I'm gonna do any of, any of that stuff today. Um, I know my friend Jackie's going out on Saturday with her husband to the Highway 10 sale, so I wish them lots of luck and lots of fun. But I will show you 
the stuff that I just picked up on random hauls this week. I did go up Wednesday to the flea market and up in Richmond, and I got this cute little karate instructor, whoops, karate instructor with his little students. But I thought this was, this was $2, just adorable. This is listed on eBay already. <clears throat> then I purchased at the same um, place, I purchased this little Toledo, Spain um, engraved gold shield. And that's listed on eBay as well. I can't remember what you call this metal work, but it, it's, I did list it on there. Glasses, I'll flip these. I bought them for $3. They're ATTCL. They're glass, so they're very nice. Glass, um, not sure what I can get for those. Flip those for maybe $15, $20. And then I stopped. So that was the flea market. I also got a pair of buffalo plaid vintage wool pants. They are out in the garage because I don't like to bring in um soft goods after you know two two to three days sitting outside because <clears throat> all the pests need um warm blood to survive so i don't know that's my theory and i'm sticking to it but i got those um buffalo pants anything else i got a couple other things maybe they're sitting out there i'll have to go look but then i was at work on Let's see. It was Tuesday. I went to the little thrift store by my work, purchased this fossil wallet that's listed on eBay. It was only a dollar, but then I noticed it has a broken zipper. So I think I've got this up for five dollars on eBay. Really kind of bummed I didn't check it out carefully. So that lesson learned. And then these um, Italian soap or oil dishes, Orvieto. They're Majolica. There is a little chip, or it's actually just a flea bite on the glaze on that one, but otherwise they're in good condition. And these have been sitting there for quite a while. And I finally decided to look them up and the comps are pretty good on this Orvieto. So we'll see, those are also listed. Then on Thursday, I had to run some errands on my lunch hour, so I didn't hit any thrift stores, but I did hit a garage on my way back from getting air in my tires at the gas station. I got this Tiffany box for free, the lady just gave it to me. And I do have a bracelet, so I'll be saving that. I've sold actually boxes and, and empty uh, sunglasses case. So I will be putting the bracelet in that. I gotta find that now. And then I just bought a little oil. Um, I felt like I had to buy something there, so I just bought this. I may just stick this back in my garage sale. But um, anyway, that is my update. For stuff going on eBay, I've got to get busy, and um, I will uh, hopefully get some of this jewelry listed. The majority of that stuff is already listed, except for that i got to find the bracelet with this. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you like my content, please subscribe. I'm not posting as often as I should, but I'm trying to at least do one a week now. I did that Labor Day weekend where I did one every day and I think I got about 10 subscribers total so I hope that you're finding some usefulness in seeing my hauls and hearing me talk so we'll talk to you later drink water use cannabis as needed and stay moving